In this video, we are looking at some of the greatest football hacks that you can try yourself. We're gonna go through each of the hacks. I'm gonna tell you who's using them. So like in this one, Cristiano Ronaldo is the player who's used it. And I'm gonna tell you a rating for each hack as well, how good they are, whether you should try it and break down how the hack works as well. So let's get into it with this first one. And as you can see, we're getting some water hot. It is the hot water trick as used by Cristiano Ronaldo. And the concept here is to try and break your boots in. So some synthetic boots can be hard to break in you want to soften them up you want to make them mold to your feet now don't use boiling water that is going to hurt your feet but if you can get your boots in nice warm water and then move around in them wear them a little bit they're just going to mold and shape to your feet nicely and you're going to find the difference okay so Ronaldo did this a lot with his really plasticky superflies that he used to have obviously the material of boots has changed a little bit so you don't need to do it as much with some boots nowadays but if you do have a pair that you are struggling to break in then this can be a really good way of doing it just make sure that after you've done it you dry the boots out slowly you don't want to put them too close to a heat source a great idea is putting some newspaper or something in there to draw the moisture out. Um, but overall, this is a good hack. It is definitely worth trying if you've got boots you want to break in. Okay, so the next hack we're looking at is used by a whole bunch of players. Mares, Rüdiger, Lacazette. And it is, if you've got a pair of boots that are only available in a firm ground, those plastic studs, but you wanna use them on soft ground pitches. So Thiago at Liverpool, he does this, and it is converting the FG to the SG sole. So changing those plastic firm ground sole plates into the metallic metal studs. And this is particularly used on a lot of limited editions where they don't come with the um, longer stud option for those muddy pitches. So if you wanna improve your traction, it's definitely known as like a pro sole thing. And Boots and Pieces is a great place to go if you wanna get it done. There is a link on our website and also so in the description if you want to do this for your own boots overall it is a really good hack to have a go on our rating for this is great um, it is a great idea and you can even do it with those air zoom mercurial sole plates as well all right another hack we're looking at Grealish Darbala Memphis Depay it is the Grealish sock method that we're going to talk about specifically but it's all about wearing those um, socks cut and then also bringing them down really low. So players wearing those socks low. So the first thing, step one in this, is just to put your um, sock sleeve on or your cut socks on first. The next step is then to put on your shin pads. Now a lot of players doing this will use a smaller shin pad. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the video. And then the next trick is to pull you and fold your boots all the way, the socks all the way down below the shin pad and then take them up above and then the final step is to tuck them into the shin pad. Overall, it's an okay hack. If you do prefer your short socks, as Grealish does, then you could definitely do that. All right, the next one we're looking at, these are your traditional normal sock liners. Nothing too fancy, too special about those, but you can bump things up. You can use a carbon fiber insole. So some players like John Stones, he's known for this. Um, he likes to have the carbon fiber inside his boots. Obviously the Adidas X um, Speed Flow and Speed Portal have that little bit of carbon fiber in the sole. You used to get carbon fiber in the sole of the um, Mercurial line as well. And as you can see from this, it just gives you that spring, that snap back when you load them and then it fires you forward. So it does increase um, your speed on the pitch. You do have to kind of break these insoles in a bit, but as you bend your foot, it kind of loads the energy like a spring. And then as you um, go, it will fire you off. And so this definitely does work. They have tested this in the laboratory and they can show that um, you can jump higher, you can sprint faster by using carbon fiber in your um, boots. That's why it's in the X's and also why you can try this great hack yourself using the Victory insoles. All right, hack number five we're looking at, and the pros using this hack include Rice, Mount, Aboumiang, and it is all about wearing your own personalized boots. And what can be more personalized than by getting them painted so you are the only person in the world to have that design? So here we have some Anthem boots that were sent over to us as a promotion for an EA game. Here you can see some color change boots that we made, and it is, as we say, probably one of the most unique things you can do to your boots. Now you can have a go yourself, you can get the brushes out, and you can get some kind of Angelus leather paint and things like that. Or you can go to a professional artist like Jordan Dawson, who is absolutely gonna smash out a customization for you on your boots. If you wanna do that, you can find that on our website. It's also in the link in the description as well. But yeah, somebody like Jordan Dawson is gonna be able to give you these personalized designs, as you can see on screen now. Um, and it can be as simple as a name and a number. 
Similarly, you might go for a logo on the heel or you could go for a full boot as well. These are some of the designs we've done ourselves. Again, with the color changing, you can see the red to the yellow on these. And this was one of the first ones we ever did, which was a black and orange uh, vapor for football boots. So overall, a good hack to try um, if you want to get your own unique boots. The next hack we're looking at, number six, tried by Ronaldo and Pogba. We are talking about these. These are the smart power studs. So the idea with these, and they are available in plastic and metal versions, and they're also available in the kind of Nike and um, Puma stud uh, thread. And you've also got the Adidas stud thread because they are slightly different. And as you can see, these blue, white, and red ones, those are the plastic ones. And then you've got these metal ones as well for, um, for your soft pitches. So what you do is you take out your normal studs and you put these in. They've got these little washers that you can um, push down. And that means that when you put the studs in, you can actually point them in certain directions. And the idea is different positions want slightly different directions. You can see that Pogba and Ronaldo both tried these on pitch. And it's all about lining them up in certain directions, certain positions. So a midfielder might put their studs in a different position than somebody who wanted straight line speed. And you can also have the ones on the back pointing the other way to give you a little bit of the braking as as well and this is a great option actually if you've got Nike boots and you want to wear them on um, artificial turf like this but then also want to wear those same boots on a soft pitch as well because Nike don't make the plastic TPU studs like Adidas do so overall it's a good hack especially if you want to use your boots on those two different surfaces all right hack number seven and players that are doing this we're talking about Neymar we're talking about Sancho we're talking about Bellingham okay and it's an interesting one got the scissors out here and as you can see we're just cutting a few little holes in the back of the socks. Now, why do players do this? Well, players have been doing it for quite a while. In fact, I think it was the 2018 World Cup that we saw players really doing it for the very first time, but it's about kind of making the blood flow a little bit better around those really tight calves. Players that have got particularly big calves, you will see doing it. You can see Neymar with his Brazil socks here, and it's all about trying to relieve the pressure around those calves, increase the blood flow, and overall, it's actually quite a good hack. You can feel the difference if you do have those big calves, but you are going to upset your kit manager or your mum if you go around cutting your socks, so make sure you've got a few spare pairs if you are going to try it. All right, hack number eight, and this is probably one of the strangest ones that we have in this entire video, and Gabby, as we understand it, isn't particularly good at tying his laces, didn't really learn how to tie his laces, but he decided, you know what, he didn't care, he's going to just play with them, um, let them come undone during the game, or even just start games with them undone. Eventually, he's got his teammates coming along and tying his laces for him. Overall, it's pretty tricky and also dangerous to play a game with your laces undone. So, either figure out how to tie your laces, laces yourself, or get a friend to tie them for you. Um, playing with your laces undone is a very bad idea. You don't want to trip over your laces, get injured. It's just not something you want to happen. All right, now we're switching things up. We've had the on-field hacks, and now we're going to go for a goalkeeper's hack. So, we've got some great hacks coming up, including the one which um, Sancho has done recently at Manchester United. You will have seen that in the thumbnail, and we're going to get to that soon. But first off, we're going to talk about something which really can improve things for goalkeepers, and it is called glove glue. So, the concept is you've either got your brand new gloves, or maybe your old gloves that you love, but they just need that little bit more stickiness. When goalkeepers try and catch the ball, the stickier the glove is, the easier it is to hold on to it. And you can do this hack in wet conditions or dry conditions. But look, you just spray the glove glue onto the gloves, give them a little rub together, and then you've just got this slightly tackier feeling to the gloves and it works on any goalkeeper glove um, that you want to try it on and it can improve your old ones. Um, you can also put on your new ones if you want that extra bit of stick. But when it comes to trying to hold on to the ball in those conditions, it's actually really good. It can make quite a difference, especially to those old gloves. And so overall, as a hack for us, we think this one is great. It's probably the best hack out there for goalkeepers is to try the glove glue. All right, we're moving on to another hack here. Benzema, Depay, Sancho. These are all players who've gone ahead and got themselves personalized shin pads. So you can get something like Carbon Athletic where they put them in that little space that I was pointing there, or you can get a whole um, shin pad covered with whatever design you like. Now you can also grab these on the website as well, the link is in the description. Um, so if you want to get your own shin pads, it's a great idea. In fact, a fan made a pair for Sancho recently and then he went and wore them on pitch. 
Now you can either go for the carbon fiber version or you can go for your standard chin pads. The carbon fiber are way um, lighter, you don't feel them as much, and then the pros might even go for the small version as well. But overall, we definitely recommend you're gonna get the strength from the carbon fiber and you also get that lightness as well so you don't feel them. Because that's the thing with shin pads, you don't really wanna have to feel them and that's why some players will go for the smaller um, shin pads if they can. Um, overall for us, we think this is a great hack. You can personalize your products to um, your own personality. All right, now, this is an interesting one. So some players decide, especially with the Puma Futures, to go and take the laces out. Now, boots nowadays do come without laces. Yes, you've got a lot of the Adidas line come with that plus version, so you get the Predator laceless, you get the X laceless, you get even the Copas laceless. Um, but Marco Royce was one player who's really well known for taking the laces out of his Puma Futures. Here you can see those predators I'm talking about. Even nowadays, you've got the easy on version from Nike with their Superflies. So you can get um, the kids versions, the junior versions, where they will come without laces and then it just slides your foot in and it has that bit of a wrap. But even those boots, they have that bit of a wrap to keep you locked in. Now, Puma say you can try wearing the Futures, but honestly, don't take your laces out of your boots. Boot. All right, this is a really interesting one. This is a Danny Alves hack and he was seen on pitch um, so he wears the X Speed Flows, and here we have a pair of the Numbers Up ones, which actually got a fantastic design on the upper of these, one of my favorite boots from last year. So a lot of players have trouble with that, just that little bit that we're holding in the hand there, we're pulling the boot on. It will fold over, and you can see it's actually done that for us as we put these on it. Fold over, it gets in the way, but does it really get in the way enough that you want to get the scissors out and do what Danny Alves did and decide to cut off that top little bit around there? Eventually, it's most likely going to start uh, like fraying, um, and you just don't want that to happen with your boots. You don't want them to start falling apart on you. So it's only a minor inconvenience. You could probably even just tuck it in rather than actually deciding to cut the whole thing off and then risky boots falling apart. All right, so Grealish, he is a player who um, epitomizes this hack. And as you can see here, we've got a tin of glue because what you can do is if your boots start falling apart, you can try and repair them. And repairing them themselves actually is a good idea. And you can get that professionally done. Again, we've got the link in the description and on our website, but actually playing in them without getting them repaired might not be the best idea. Look at the state of the boots that Grealish wore in the championship final. Now, a lot of players you'll probably find in your Sunday league games, um, they'll just get the tape out and they'll wrap it around the toes of their boots and they'll wear them for like half a season. But they're just gonna get worse and worse if you do that. If you do have a pair of boots that you love, then we recommend getting them professionally repaired as soon as possible because they're not gonna get worse. You're not gonna get all the mud getting in there. So playing with a damaged pair of boots is a bad idea. All right, we're on to another hack. And this is a Coutinho Sancho um, hack and here we go this is the one that you guys have been waiting for it is all about cutting your superflies well it doesn't have to be superflies it could be any boots but um, Coutinho did it with vapors Sancho has done it with his superflies as you can see here cut out that little back section so why they're doing this mainly blisters Matt, uh, Hummels did this at Bayern he did it at the front of his boots and that's because he had blisters around the toes but um, Coutinho did it because he has a um, issue with his heel, a little kind of bone uh, growth that comes out there as we understand. He actually had some specific um, boots made for him by Nike that were soft at the back so they didn't irritate his heels, so he didn't have to keep um, making the cuts out. As you can see, we did it with a pair of vapors. It makes this big hole in the back. Um, and you can still play in them. As you can see, pros have been doing that. But if it's a temporary problem, blisters then you, there's a better solution for that and I'll actually get to that a little bit later in this video rather than making a hole in your boot which is a permanent solution and whilst players get brand new boots all the time this is a very bad idea for you if you don't get brand new boots all the time if somebody else is buying your boots then cool do what you want but if you're buying your own boots and you're spending a lot of money on them then you're not going to want to do that all right so this hack a whole bunch of players do this hack and this one is again talking about the shin pads but instead of um using the full-size adult shin pads, those players who find those shin pads annoying will go for a junior size shin pad. So you can see the difference. The problem with this hack is it leaves your um, shin a lot less protected than if you do wear that larger shin pad. So you'll know how often you get kicked by players and whether you really need one or not. Somebody like Grealish, he doesn't necessarily feel like he gets kicked 
in certain places of the leg, so he decides to wear the smaller ones and he can get by with it. But overall, it's a bad idea. I would recommend going for those lighter carbon fibre shin pads that we were talking about. Okay, this is a great one, as we were just talking about blisters. I've known players, pro players, to put duct tape on their heels to stop um, blisters before they even form. And that's what this is all about, is put tape on your feet in those places where you think you'll get blisters before you even get blisters. Or you can also apply Vaseline in those areas as well, those hot spots. You know that there's a chance of getting blisters, cover up already, and then those blisters won't even form because the tape or the plasters can protect your skin. I don't particularly like plasters because they can move around in a game. While something like K-Tape is really good, as long as you put it on probably about half an hour to an hour before you actually play because the glue needs to activate and stick and if you do it too close to the start of the game and they get wet um, from sweat and things like that then it won't stick as well but yeah Vaseline is another great option it just stops that rubbing which is what is causing you blisters and you can apply it in those places on your foot where you perhaps tend to get blisters and it will stop them happening a great hack and a great thing to try all right so this is the final hack okay tell me your favorite hack in the comments once you've seen this one you got neymar bale sterling griezmann in fact almost all pro players nowadays are wearing grip socks there's a lot of choices on the market um, we've got some of the best ones linked on our website go find our grip socks page and we'll run those through for you but yeah you've got a whole bunch of different types you can do um, ones with a little bit more compression around them you can do different types of shapes on them you can see um, different players wearing different ones again 2018 world cup was really where these came first to the market grip socks i'm pretty sure you've probably tried them if you haven't then please go grab a pair from our website and try them because you'll find your foot won't slide around as much and again it's going to stop those blisters all right guys go enjoy your football